Hey, how you doing? It's a Monday, the 20th. That means we're less than two days away from bagging your robot. So a couple things to think about. A, you don't have to bag your bumpers. You don't have to bag your controls. Um, might want to put spare parts into your bag. That way you don't have to carry those spare parts in and be part of your 30, 30 pounds um, allowance to get into the event. So think about that. Also, I saw some things out on the interwebs. I saw a two gear auto from 1678. So citrus circuits are continuing to raise the bar. Kudos to you guys. I also saw a lot of talk about week zero events. There was the one up in New Hampshire. There was the Sheffield Shakedown. And there was the Girls of Steel event. And I, I saw a few others more informal, but I think a lot of teams went to those three events and give us a lot of feedback. We should go out and talk to John because he went to ref training, which was happening at the New Hampshire Week Zero event. So let's go find John. Hey, there's John. Oh, hey. Imagine that. There's John. <laughs> How was ref training at Week Zero? Ref training was awesome. This was head refs only, right? This was only head refs, and it was about 40, which is approximately half or so of the, the head refs out there in total. Uh, last year they brought the first 40, this year they brought another 40. We're doing training every other year, so is, I think is the game plan. Okay, you went to the Week Zero event in New Hampshire. Yep. What are the like the top two things you could suggest or recommendations to teams? One of the big things that we noticed was there were a ton of draft gears, so if you have a gear intake off of a floor, you're in really good shape because a lot of the pilots were actually having issues getting them out of the intakes from the height. What would happen is they would get it latched somewhat, and then because there's so much flex in the spring, which you don't really realize, it would fall off the front of the spring as they were pulling it out, and either fall out of their robot or their robot had already backed away and it would fall off. So they would actually start congregating in front of the gear lifts and there were teams that weren't able to cope with that. So that's a big thing to, to watch out for. And then the other, I would say, is definitely try and dial in your shooter as much as possible. There were a lot of pretty fast shooters there, but they weren't able to actually make their shots. Yeah. They got close, and I don't know if it was a software or driver training thing, but what would happen is they would shoot all these balls, and instead of going into the goal, they would go right behind it or right in front of it. Like our team, so. we're, we're not shooting yet, so we're, we're in debug mode. So I'm sure those teams are in debug mode too. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I would hope by week three, four, five, six, seven champs, those are gonna be dead on shooters, I would assume. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure. Which teams so. were the most impressive? 125. Strong contender in New England, very impressive. I only got to watch a couple of matches, so I didn't get to see a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Team 238 did pretty well, and there were a couple others that, that are strong New England contenders every year. So. Did get to see a couple of teams climb the rope. That was pretty sweet. It was cool to actually see it happen because you see it in practice, you see it in the animation and stuff, but until you actually see it in person, it's like, wow, that, that's a pretty hard challenge to actually do. Cool. So. All right, well, thanks, John. Not a problem, thank you. Hey, um, he was talking about climbing and prototyping, and I think here at Andy Mark today, the, the local team, um, Cybertooth, is finishing up. We'll go check on them. But also, out here, we're pretty much caught up on our backlog of orders, so if you got something that you need right away, get your order in before two o'clock these days, and you can probably probably get it shipped the same day so if you need something this weekend or next weekend and you want to do something in a hurry let us know and we can get something to you fast but i do want to show you what's going on over here hey guys we're on, we're on camera now. Nice. So it could be uh, This is the Cybertooth team 3940. Yeah. They're finishing up two robots. We, they've got a practice robot and they've got a, a competition purple robot. So we're bagging the competition robot. And I think I think the um, practice robot is out on the practice field. We have a we have a quarter practice field here. We don't we don't have enough room for a full field. But they're driving out in the north warehouse. And it's nice to have. This is kind of odd for Indiana, but it's nice to have a nice sunny day here. And it's been this way all weekend, so we've had this door open and we've, been, we've enjoyed the, the weather. we got to get back to work, be safe, have fun, 
Um, good luck bagging your robot and uh, completing this task. We'll see you on Wednesday.